so welcome to my next video as you can see I changed my crown and I put my dress on this is my sister's dress because I couldn't fit into my other one so she doesn't have to know but as you can see I have my socks on I got my sock glue on I also have my gillies on so I'm gonna be doing my first dance for you that is called the reel I played the music before that's the more high-paced ballet style dancing, but it's a little faster. So a lot of people usually clap their hands. I'll usually start it by showing people to, to clap their hands. Um, one thing I wanted to show you beforehand was how Irish dancers start their performances. So what they do is they take their right foot and they kind of put it off to the side a little bit. Then their back foot, they kind of put like that it's kind of hard to explain but if you look down it kind of looks like the less than symbol in math <laughs> a little bit like that or it kind of looks like the letter z so if you look down and you kind of see like the less than symbol you're doing it right right before a dancer starts they'll listen to the music and they'll point their toe and then they'll go like this and begin so that's what you're going to see when i start this reel so here we go And that's the trouble reel. So I'm going to do that within the same video and kind of take off my shoes because it's really nice and easy and then begin. So the trouble reel is the other high pay, uh, fast paced dance that you usually see. A lot of times if you go to see Irish dancers perform, that's the kind of dance you're going to see because a lot of people don't traditionally want to see the slower dances it's more people pleasing to do the faster quicker dances it's also really fun for the audience to get into the dance by clapping so a lot of the times you'll see irish dancers do that um have them clap so that they can also be a part of the dance so this next dance like i said was going to be the trouble reel and it's that easy to go into these hard shoes. It's just like putting on regular shoes. Hard shoes are probably my favorite because they're kind of a way to get your anger out. <laughs> if you're ever really, really angry, become an Irish dancer and just start slamming your foot on the ground and it's dancing. So with these, these are the ones that you are going to go up on your toes. So in the dance that I'm about to do, I don't think that I go up on my toes. I might in one part of it, um, but I don't often also due to the fact that I haven't Irish danced in a while. I usually only do it once a year. And usually, which is a little gross, Irish dancers' toenails fall off a lot. And I'm sure ballet dancers do too. Um, but a lot of the times my toenails will fall off because of going up on my toes. They'll just die and fall off. So, perks of being an Irish dancer. Um, you usually start the dance out the exact same way with that less than symbol. You point and begin. These are a little tougher to get up on your toes on because they're heavier shoes. And then you can kind of hear how loud they're going to be. And that's just a little bit. And then you do go up on your toes as well. So this next dance, like I said, was the trouble reel. And this is my all time favorite dance.
my hair started, started to fall out. As you can see, it's a very, very taxing dance. So, and that was only a part of it. But I hope you enjoyed the performances. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to Irish dance step by step. Thank you.